Every year, 8 million tons of plastic waste are being dumped into the seas. A team of researchers has collected data in the Pacific Ocean in order to track the routes taken by floating plastic debris. The international organization Plastic Change wants to raise awareness over the increasing pollution by plastic of our oceans. Plastic is not biodegradable, but at sea, large pieces of it can break into smaller bits which are easy for animals to eat. One of the reasons that we do uh, this particular research is we want to, to try to help answer the question of where is all the plastic that uh, should be found on the surface of the oceans but isn't there. So over the last uh, decades we have uh, uh, exposed our ocean for uh, so much plastic. We have relatively good calculations of how much plastic that is and what we can see is that there is only a tiny bit of what should be out there is what we find on the surface. Microplastics are particles from larger items made brittle by sunlight and pounded to pieces by waves, bitten by sharks and other fish, or otherwise torn apart. The wind and sea currents then gather the plastic debris together. There are several hypotheses of where this, uh, the remaining part of the plastic can be. And uh, it can be different at uh, different depths in the, the water column. It might, some of it might have sinked to the to ocean floor, some of it might be, have entered the, the food chain. Pieces of microplastic are just the tip of the iceberg. The ocean works like a blender and it's crunching the plastic down to these smaller pieces. According to the researchers, the amount of this kind of debris in the ocean is likely to double within the next 10 years, while pieces of the plastic keep on returning to land after traveling thousands of kilometers on the water. These aerial pictures are of Camilo Beach on the southeast coast of the island of Hawaii, which is well known for its accumulation of plastic marine debris. Items found on the beach prove the ocean pollution is a global issue. Experts have sounded the alarm over how plastic pollution kills a huge number of seabirds, marine mammals and destroys ocean ecosystems. Plastic objects like discarded fishing nets kill by trapping dolphins, sea turtles and other marine animals. Pieces of plastic frequently get stuck in the throats and digestive systems of marine animals. Exactly. So they, they see their own life when heaps and heaps of marine debris wash ashore or are tangled in our reefs, that's a problem for marine wildlife and it's a problem for human health. And so our best bet to reduce this problem or to prevent future entanglements is to come down here and get as much debris off the beach as possible. I just catch what I could here. Yeah. Scientists have estimated that there are over five trillion pieces of plastic weighing more than a quarter of a million tons floating across the sea. Over 600 species of marine life are suffering directly from plastic pollution, and over 90% of seabirds worldwide have plastic pieces in their stomachs, researchers believe. There is expected to be more plastic than fish in the sea by 2050.